Today we are going to link the Jetpack Hotspot by Verizon. So first let's look at what comes in the box. It comes with the warranty information. It also comes with a quick guide on how to set up the hotspot device. Comes with the charging cables uh, to charge the hotspot and then the hotspot. So we're gonna remove all of this because we're not gonna need it. We're just gonna talk about the, the hotspot. So the first thing that we need to do is to um, get the password so that we can, um, okay, so to do that, we are going to turn it on. We're going to look for the power button, which is there. And if you notice, if I press it, nothing happens. I need to hold it for a few seconds. So I'm gonna hold it here and I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then until it turns on. So once it turns on, then I'm gonna wait because it takes a while for it to reconfigure. So we're gonna wait. It does take a few seconds, so we need to be patient when working with this hotspot. Then we will see how it says my jetpack. That's the end settings info. It keeps going back and forth between those two. We still need to wait. So we still need to practice patience with this. Once it does it a few times, then you will see where it says Verizon 4T and you will see the arrows that go up and down. That means it is ready to be linked. So now we're going to get the uh, device. In this case, will be the, uh, an iPad. And we're going to link the network. So the first thing we're going to do is look for the icon, the settings icon. So here it is. This one is gray button. So I press on it. Then I'm going to look for the Wi-Fi. So here I'm going to select Wi-Fi and you just need to make sure that the Wi-Fi, if it's off, as it is in this case, you don't see any network that you turn it on so that it starts um, looking for networks. Now I'm gonna look for the network, which is the Jetpack uh, by Verizon. So I need to make sure that it, it is um, showing up as one of them and it's right here. So I select it. And then I'm going to look for the password. The password is here and I'm going to press on this button until it changes. If I press it once, it goes getting usage data. So I'm gonna press it again. Now it says the name of the hotspot. I'm gonna press it again. And this time here is the password. So I'm going to put those numbers and letters So I put them on. Once I finish putting on all the numbers, all the and letters and the password, then the join um, lights up or becomes linkable. I click on it and then it's working on linking. And if you see it there, it's linking to the hotspot. And once it's done, you will see a check mark and you are ready to get on the internet. I hope this helps.